This article, also known as, If I want to survive, I can only stick with the protagonist. This article features multiple male leads, 1 vsn. All towards the Thunder Lion, there are changes made to the person, it will be OC. If you can't accept it, please leave. The author's writing style is elementary school, with many plot points that are outrageous. I hope to be more tolerant. System. Why do I have to physically contact him to avoid falling asleep? Quote. Well, host, you're absorbing their energy. How can we quickly absorb it? M. Kiss them directly. Go ahead, host. Ha. Huh. Chapter 1. Crossing. You are listening at novelfull.audio. This article is awkward. If you accept it, you can read it. If you don't accept it, you can't read it. The author doesn't know how to write scenes of gyro battles. DD. DD. Hm. Lei Shi opened his eyes and said, What is this place? The sunlight outside the window spilled on the bed, and the strong light made the thunder lion raise its hand to block the light. Birds were chirping outside, completely different from the previous bumpy competition. My body felt a hint of coolness, I was not wearing clothes, and my body seemed to have shrunk. Lei Shi frowned and put on a pure white hoodie and black shorts next to the bed. There is a exquisitely crafted purple top in my pocket. What is this? The thunder lion didn't manage it and put it back in his pocket. Do I have any more power? It seems there's no need to worry. Lei Shi pushed open the bedroom door and walked towards the living room. Empty and cozy, but this may just be superficial. Ding. Ding. The doorbell rang, and the thunder lion opened the door, quietly gathering elemental strength behind its back, ready to attack at any time. You. Hello. The person with brown hair in front of him said nervously, What's up? Lei Shi lowered his guard and looked at him expressionlessly. The fur of the thunder lion is thick and shiny, and the eyes show a deep purple color emitting a mysterious and solemn atmosphere. Auntie asked my dad to take care of you all afternoon, and I'll come pick you up, said Meteor, blushing slightly. He reached out his hand to Thunder Lion and said, come with me. Quote, Lei Shi looked at the hand silently. When Meteor felt embarrassed and wanted to retract his hand, Lei Shi placed his hand on Meteor's hand and smiled slightly. Let's go. Meteor stared blankly at him, reacted, and led Lei Shi's hand to the destination. The meteor and the thunder lion arrived within a few steps. Is it a dungeon play? Thunder lion thought. Meteor knocked on the door. Dad, I brought him here. Meteor shouted to the door. By the way, I don't know your name yet. My name is Meteor. What's your name? Quote, Lei Shi pursed his lips and said, Lei Shi. Oh, good. Thunder Lion. Meteor said, pulling Thunder Lion's hand into the house. It's really simple. Thunder Lion thought to himself. Huh. Has dad gone to take care of mom? Meteor scratched his head. By the way, do you want to go to the gyro battlefield with me? Meteor smiled and said to the Thunder Lion. What's that place? Hey. Don't you know? Meteor thought. Maybe he hasn't heard of it before. Come on. I'll take you. He grabbed the hand of the Thunder Lion and rushed out of the door. Meteor and Thunder Lion arrived at the gyroscopic battlefield, where many children gathered together. A group of people cheered on, saying, Super power duel. Launch. It was so lively. Looking at the spinning top, the thunder lion remembered the top in his pocket. Lei Shi asked the meteor, Brother, can you teach me how to play with the top? My elemental strength is related to it. Closing parenthesis. Meteor smiled and said, Of course not a problem. 
After handing over the shooting star to the Thunder Lion for launch, the Thunder Lion still doesn't know. Children's toys, flashy things. I don't believe them anymore. Meteor said to Thunder Lion, let me teach you hand in hand. Meteor held the hand of the Thunder Lion and taught it hand by hand. Is that so? The Thunder Lion covered. Closing parenthesis. By the way, I want to play by myself, brother. Well, okay. The Meteor left. Lei Shi played for a while on his own, and after the decisive battle, Huang Fu Sheng looked at the purple-haired boy with his back against the wall, holding a purple top tightly in his hand, which he had never seen before. The person in front of me has a leisurely gaze. I don't know what I'm thinking. Who made your top? Huang Fu Sheng approached and asked. Lei Shi was stunned and replied, I don't know. He looked at Huang Fu Sheng and observed. Watching the child in front of me lift my head and stare blankly at him. A bit cute. No. Huang Fu Sheng reached out his hand to Lei Shi and said, Let me see. Quote. Lei Shi pondered for a moment and handed the top in his hand to Huang Fu Sheng. Huang Fu Sheng looked at the top in his hand and didn't see it before. Is it a new one? Lei Shi leaned his head over and said, Is there any problem? Huang Fu Sheng looked at the suddenly emerging fluffy head and instinctively placed his hand on his head, comforting him. There's no problem. Quote, Lei Shi observed the top and was suddenly puzzled by touching his head. Why did this guy touch my head? Lei Shi took the top from Huang Fu Sheng's hand back to his own hand. The fluffy head in his hand fell empty, and Huang Fu Sheng felt a bit disappointed. Let's have a duel. Lei Shi challenged Huang Fu Sheng, you look like a strong player. Although it's my first time playing, I've almost learned it. Lei Shi said seriously. Originally, Huang Fu Sheng disdained fighting the weak, but today, for the first time, he agreed. Okay. Quote. Superpower duel. Launch. Lei Yulong, go up. Lei Lion was full of fighting spirit. Huang Fu Sheng smiled as he looked at the spirited Thunder Lion. Two gyroscopes collided consecutively, and, Thunder Feather Dragon, Thunderstorm Impact, Thunder Feather Dragon launched an attack first. Phantom shattered the sky. Aurora Tianma was also unwilling to be outdone, thought Thunder Lion to himself. The gyroscopes collided and produced dazzling sparks, but Thunder Feather Dragon was clearly at a disadvantage. Thunder Feather Dragon, avoid it. Aurora Tianma continues to attack. Quote, the Aurora Heavenly Horse continues to collide with the Thunder Feather Dragon, and if it continues to collide like this, it will lose. Since you can't escape, don't escape, Lei Yulong attacks. Lei Yulong turned around and ran towards the Aurora Heavenly Horse. Thunder and lightning sometimes flicker around the Thunder Feather Dragon, that's my elemental strength. Closing parenthesis. Can my elemental strength merge with Thunder Feather Dragon? How could it be? The speed has clearly slowed down. Huang Fu Sheng couldn't understand. Two gyroscopes collided, and in the end, Lei Yulong flew out. The Aurora Tianma spun on the turntable a few times but didn't move. Lei Shi caught Lei Yulong and did not feel discouraged by his failure. Instead, he smiled at Huang Fu Sheng and said, You are indeed very strong and powerful. My name is Lei Shi. Lei Shi looked up at the sky. I need to leave now. Quote. Lei Shi looked at Huang Fu Sheng and said, Goodbye by chance. Then he went to find the meteor. Huang Fu Sheng looked at the departing figure of the Thunder Lion, hesitated for a moment, somewhat reluctant, and walked towards the distance. Meteor happened to be looking for Thunder Lion, where did you go just now? 
I didn't even find you. Oh. I played with someone for a while. Lei Shi smiled. Oh. Let me take you to eat. You must be hungry after playing for so long. Meteor said helplessly. Indeed. There is a point. Thunder Lion pondered. Then you eat here. I'll go play first and then come find you. I need to accompany my mom. Um hum. Lei Shi nodded. The meteor has gone out. The thunder lion ate with its head drooping and slept for a while. When I woke up, I saw the meteor rushing over in a panic, holding the hand of the thunder lion and running forward. It's too late. Let's go quickly. Meteor brought Lei Shi to a hospital ward, where there was nothing inside. Meteor was a bit absent-minded. He released his hand holding the thunder lion and approached the hospital bed. Tears ran down his cheeks and he murmured, Mom, it's all my fault that I promised you to come back early. I'm sorry. Quote, Lei Shi didn't know how to comfort him, pursed his lips, embraced the meteor, pressed his head against the meteor's head, and whispered softly. Don't be afraid. I'm here. Quote. Meteor burst into tears loudly. I don't know how long it has been crying. Meteor cried tired and fell asleep. The thunder lion carried the meteor back to the meteor's home. It should be this room. The thunder lion placed the meteor on the bed, and its body continued to dissipate. The thunder lion arrived at a pure white space. DD. Your system has been activated. Come and become the strongest warrior king. What thing? I refuse. Lei Shi hesitated and returned without a moment's hesitation. D. Hey. Ha ha. I'm sorry about that. We are forced to fulfill a wish when the host becomes the king of war. Please have the host train independently and go to Jaduo Academy in four years to defeat more people. Every time you defeat one person, you will receive a reward. After saying this, the system's voice never made a sound again. I, the thunder lion died speechless, wanting to gather elemental strength, but could only gather a trace. So how should I get out? The result was that the thunder lion couldn't get out. Only the top, the launcher on the ground, and the superpower ring. Lei Shi sighed and could only recall the way the meteor taught him over and over again, constantly practicing. He was also constantly studying the gyroscope and finding his own way of fighting. During the practice, Lei Shi was surprised to find that his elemental power could merge with the gyroscope, and the gyroscope's attack power was even stronger. Oh. Interesting. Can a small amount of elemental force be strengthened? Lei Shi began to have some interest in gyroscopes. Chapter 2. Arriving at Jaduo Academy. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Four years later, a purple-haired boy was skateboarding on the road. What a broken system. Not even a spaceship. Li Shi roast. And then he slipped faster with his feet. So he's also a new student at Jaduo College. Whoosh. What is it? Wait. That back figure. Quote. Lei Shi stepped on it and found that the skateboard had already been thrown into the trash can, making it uncomfortable to use at all. Thirsty. Lei Shi took a bottle of water and drank it in large gulps. Wait for me. What sound? The thunder lion looked over and ran towards it alone, but the ship's spiral staircase was closing. The meteor used a gyroscope to stop the spiral staircase from rising, and the person successfully boarded the ship, and the spiral staircase closed just in time. Attention students participating in the resurrection competition. The competition is about to start. Please move to the position of the bow on the second deck. Come on. Come on. Quote. Lei Shi raised his eyebrows and walked towards it. The competition has started, and there are many people surrounding it. Lei Shi tightened the brim of his hat with his hand, 
and someone kept following him. Lei Shi keenly felt it. Hey, the person in front, etc. Lei Shi turned around and smiled, spreading his hand. What's up? Let's have a showdown, Han Ku said firmly to the Thunder Lion, holding the top in his chest. All right. Han Ku hesitated for a moment. Is it so refreshing? The battle on Benny's side has ended. Hey, it seems like there's going to be a duel over there. Let's follow and take a look. Okay, let's go take a look. Quote, just to see how strong he has been over the years. But it's better to be cautious. Lei Shi took out his warrior and said, come on. Super power duel. Launch. Quote. Ice hunting blue dragon. Launch. Lei Yulong. Launch. The two tips emit long blue and purple light respectively, while rotating clockwise on the outer ring of the gyroscope. The meteor was a bit unclear, so, he looks a bit like who. Both sides probed a few times, hunting the ice blue dragon, sniping in a straight line. Han Ku was the first to launch an attack. The ice hunting blue dragon reached its highest point and charged directly towards the thunder feather dragon. Are you a beginner? It seems. Closing parenthesis. When the ice hunting blue dragon was about to collide with the thunder feather lion, the thunder lion suddenly shouted. Thunder feathered lion, lightning strike. Thunder feathered dragon erupted in an instant, unable to give people enough time to think. His whole body's energy increased significantly, and lightning flashed around him, colliding with ice hunting blue dragon, and his body rubbed against each other to produce sparks. The lightning of the thunder feather dragon has a paralyzing effect preventing the ice-hunting blue dragon from emitting better power. A few seconds later, the ice-hunting blue dragon was knocked open and quickly distanced itself from the thunder feather dragon, stabilizing its body. Oh, it seems that my elemental paralysis has also merged. Lei Shi ignored their shocked expressions, Han Ku thought, somewhat tricky. Han Ku sneered and said, Lai Bing Lan Long, open up. Lai Bing Lan Long wanted to dodge, but Lei Yu Long's paralysis was too headache inducing, consuming the spinning force of the top. Thunder Feather Dragon, continue to attack. Thunder Feather Dragon was very fast and charged towards the ice hunting blue dragon. The Thunder Lion did not give the opponent any chance to breathe and continued to attack. Cold Cool gritted his teeth. Ice Hunting Ring. Super Transformation Combination. Explosive Energy Acceleration. Quote. The Ice Hunting Blue Dragon rushed towards the Thunder Feather Dragon, hoping to knock it off with a single blow. But it did not. The Thunder Feather Dragon still confronted the Ice Hunting Blue Dragon. A few seconds later, Thunder Feather Dragon was not eliminated. Instead, the ice hunting blue dragon was seized by thunder feather dragon and crashed off the battlefield, making a sound. Han Ku picked up the top on the ground and held it tightly in his palm. Ding! Congratulations to the host for winning the cold cool round. Rewards. Top speed plus 5, explosive power plus 1 0. Oh. Second round. Ice hunting blue dragon, launch. Thunder feather dragon, launch. Quote. This time, the thunder lion did not probe. Quick battle, quick decision, thunder feather dragon. Time is running out. Closing parenthesis. Thunder feather ring, super transformation combination, explosive energy acceleration. Lightning flashes around thunder feather dragon. Thunder Feather Dragon, 5 Star Skyman Kill. The Thunder Feather Dragon spun rapidly and charged straight towards the Ice Blue Dragon from its highest point, constantly colliding, forming a five pointed star emitting purple light at such a fast speed. The movements of the Thunder Lion flow smoothly, 
and in the face of a powerful enemy, cold cool feels a suffocating sensation. No practical experience, but the powerful explosive power compensates for it, which is a bit interesting. No matter how strong, there are also weaknesses. Han Ku calmly pondered, why hasn't he launched a superpower ring yet? Lu Xing asked inexplicably. Found. Ice hunting ring. Super transformation combination. Han Ku seized the opportunity. Ice hunting blue dragon. Ice hunting assault. The cold aura that rushed towards Lei Shi not only did not fear, but also had an inexplicable excitement. The ice hunting blue dragon seized the opportunity and collided with the thunder feather dragon causing damage to the Thunder Feather Dragon, success. But how did the paralysis of Thunder Feather Dragon disappear? Han Ku curled his mouth. Lei Yulong's paralysis has disappeared. Is it unstable? Li Shi stared at Lei Yulong and sighed. In the end, Lei Yulong was knocked off the battlefield, and Lei Lion quickly caught it. You're very impressive, Lei Shi said but I'm going to break the promise. I'll give up this time. Quote. Lei Shi smiled, revealing his tiger teeth in his mouth. His purple eyes looked at him seriously, looking forward to the next battle with you. His hand waved in his ear, goodbye. Quote. The ship arrived just in time, and the thunder lion turned around and disappeared into the crowd without looking back. Hey. We're not finished yet. Han Ku shouted at the back of Lei Shi. The meteor looked at the back of the Thunder Lion and said, It's you. The meteor remembered the embarrassing incident of finding the wrong person. Meteor, do you know him? That guy is so strong. Benny said to Meteor, Well, that's just a childhood thing. Let's go to Jaduo Academy quickly. Lei Shi followed the army and thought to himself. How did he come across this guy? Thunder Lion remembered those memories, feeling embarrassed, with his toes stuck on the ground. How could I still call him brother myself? Closing parenthesis. Congratulations to the host for arriving at Jaduo Academy. Your main mission is to eliminate people from other worlds. After saying this, the system stopped answering. I haven't asked where to find it yet. Lei Shi's face was full of displeasure. Classmates, you have worked hard all the way. Welcome to the world's top gyro academy, Jaduo Academy. A female teacher wearing work clothes walked over. I am teacher Alan, and also your life mentor. Quote. Zan Tuo Academy is the world's largest and most authoritative place for learning, training, and combat of super-mutated warriors. Whether it is technology or talent cultivation, Zan Tuo Academy is far ahead. The main reason is that our college has the most advanced and top-notch gyroscope arena in the world. Quote. Lei Shi shook his shoulders and his body felt a bit sore. Let's go find the dormitory first. B8, Thunder Lion murmured, a great name. Thunder Lion walked into the hallway, um, quite big, but where is B8? B7, where is B7? A person walked aimlessly, him, fellow townsman. Excuse me. The familiar voice was cold and cool. Lei Shi's gaze followed his figure to find B7 which was right next to him. Niece. Lei Shi entered the dormitory with only one bed, one table, and one computer. Is this a single-person dormitory? I don't like being with others either, it saves me trouble. Lei Shi's heart was filled with delicious juice, so he packed his luggage and went downstairs to meet everyone. 2176 words. Chapter 3. Grouping. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Teacher Alan led him to the outside of the arena, and a person shouted loudly, This is the top arena I've fantasized about countless times. I'm coming. 
He rushed forward and slammed his head into the door. Don't get excited. This contestant. I haven't opened the door yet. Quote. The Lay Lions entered the arena and said, Hi, Teacher Allen, lovely children. A sturdy male teacher stood there. Welcome to the gyro training ground. I'm John. The male teacher first introduced himself. Teacher Allen asked with concern, Is Teacher John still practicing? That's right. If you want to sprint towards this generation of King Jaduo, you must train against time. Only by team up and passing the assessment of the primary, intermediate, and advanced competitions, and collecting the bronze, silver, and gold battle badges. Can we step onto the highest stage where the world's experts gather? So troublesome. The thunder lion pouted. This is called a weighted belt, each weighing 10 pounds. Bring it to me today and don't take it off. After a while, there were only Thunder Lion, Meteor, Benny, Mulan, and Cold Cool left. The others went to other battlefields. The Thunder Lion will wear a weight band on the wrist, which is not very heavy, but the body of this age group still feels a bit sore after practicing for a long time. Lu Xing, Mulan, and Benny were a bit uncomfortable, and the launch was not as good as expected. After the Thunder Lion launched the gyroscope, the Thunder Feather Dragon landed steadily, but it did not perform as well as the Thunder Lion had imagined. Meteor was surprised to see the top landing steadily on the battlefield and shifted his gaze to the owner of the top. The figure standing there overlaps with the figure from childhood memories, Thunder Lion. Everyone turned their gaze to the Thunder Lion who did not feel embarrassed and gave an answer. Hmm. Lei Shi set his gaze on the meteor, his mouth slightly curved. Long time no see. Okay. Long time no see. Meteor answered with some stuttering. When he wanted to say something more, a voice interrupted him. Hey. You guys. A fat guy and a thin guy walked over with a fierce expression. The Thunder Lion didn't even look at them and continued to practice firing. These two are specifically challenging beginners. It seems that we have been targeted, Mulan whispered in Meteor's ear. You strange person from the forest, speak out loud and mutter something to yourself. And you, you ignored me. The fat man angrily pointed at the Thunder Lion. Lei Shi was thinking about what to do when forming a team. His thoughts were interrupted, and he looked at him disdainfully, indicating what you could do with me. Who are you talking about? Meteor was a bit angry, and Mulan quickly made up for it. We are all classmates, we should get along well. Forest monster, it's not your turn to talk here. Get out of my way. The chubby man still persisted. Why are you talking like this? And don't call Mulan a forest monster anymore. Meteor walked towards them. The meteor tree looked at the meteor with emotion. That's right. If you have the ability. If you have the ability, we will use the super mutant warrior to determine the winner. How dare the stinky kid provoke me. It seems he wants to teach you a lesson. The chubby guy took out his top. Superpower duel. Launch. Lei Shi rubbed his eyes and felt a bit tired. Strange. I've been feeling a bit drowsy lately. Thunder Lion watched the meteor and their battle in a daze, and coincidentally, he was noticed by Mulan. It's completely different from his previous cold and domineering demeanor. Maybe he's not that difficult to get along with. Lei Shi was about to give up, so he turned around and left, running towards the dormitory. The meteor looked towards the direction where the thunder lion was leaving with a sharp and sharp heart. His figure was no longer there, and there was a hint of disappointment in the meteor's eyes. However, the game was still ongoing, and the meteor could not let it go. The thunder lion came to the room and fell into a deep sleep. 
It was already the second day since Lei Shi woke up. Strangely, his elemental strength had recovered slightly. Lei Shi looked out the window. It seemed like rest was the only way to recover his elemental strength. And dressed up, he set off for training. Today's task is to determine the grouping list for the gyro group to participate in the preliminary assessment. Quote, Teacher John said, The grouping method is very simple, with caves of various colors, and only up to five main bodies can be entered. Private setting. Unify the colors into a group. Come on. Let's all shoot towards our favorite colors together. Lei Yulong arrived at the battlefield, but Lei Lion did not immediately enter the cave, but kept avoiding the rushing top. I don't want a pig teammate. Let's see who has entered the cave. After a while, they all formed a team, and the cave had automatically closed. By the time the Thunder Lion reacted, they had missed it. Lei Shi. Filled down pointing triangle dish filled down pointing triangle hash. Meteor, Cold Cool, Benny, Mulan, and Thunder Lion automatically form a group. Teacher John directly formed the group. Why? Our top didn't go into the same hole, Han Ku asked inexplicably. Because all the other students have already been fully grouped, there are only five of you left so it's natural for you to become one group. Quote, I feel really uncomfortable. Do I think directly without thinking? I chose directly. Lei Shi is a bit speechless. That's great. I'm so happy to be in the same group as you guys. Benny raised his fists in front of him. Me too Tilda, Meteor and Mulan have the same style of action. Feeling a bit awkward, Lei Shi twitched the corner of his mouth. The meteor walked towards the Thunder Lion and asked, Thunder Lion, who are you with? Quote dot. Well, this. Lei Shi nodded. However, did he have any conflicts with you? How do you feel like he despises you? Lei Shi changed the topic. Meteor and the others looked at Han Ku, who took a few steps back and said, I will apply to teacher John for a group change tomorrow. Quote, R, ah, times 3, Y. Meteor asked inexplicably. Your group only has some strength like the Thunder Lion. Do you think I will be in the same group as the weak? Said Han Ku disdainfully. Especially you. Benny frowned awkwardly, and the confinement room matter didn't end so easily. Do you want to tell the teacher about what happened in the confinement room last time? Asked Benny, but Han Ku didn't answer and left directly. At noon, the Thunder Lion filled a plate full of grilled meat. Why didn't there be any beer? The Thunder Lion sat puzzled next to the meteor, who looked at the meat in the Thunder Lion bowl. Lei Shi, you've eaten so much food. Have you finished eating? Meteor was a little surprised. Don't worry so much, Lei Shi said as he fed the rice into his mouth. Why should we persuade that guy? Benny's voice alarmed the diners in the cafeteria. Benny, don't be so loud, Mulan whispered. We still don't know if Han Ku really wants to report the incident in the detention room to the teacher. Do you still want to be with him? Penny asked. Everyone being grouped together is fate. We should cherish it well. Explained Mulan. But they don't give you a chance to cherish it at all. Penny said sorrowfully. He has a strange personality and doesn't like to talk. He's still crunching apples in the middle of the night. And the worst part is that he loves to give small reports. Quote. If the teacher finds out about the confinement room. We are very likely to be banned. Benny cried bitterly. The impact is indeed significant, replied the meteor in affirmation. So let him not disclose information about the detention room. After Benny finished speaking, he snatched Ding Ding's lunch and ate it. This is my lunch. Ding Ding clenched his fist and punched Benny. 
Is there any way to dispel the idea of cold cool leaving the team? Meteor asked the question. First of all, we need to be emotional. Do you have anything that can move cold cool? Ding Ding pondered for a moment and asked, Mulan, you say? Well, my little hamster Dudu has always wanted to thank Hanku. A cute hamster came down from Mullen's shoulder. Maybe, Hanku was moved by our sincere gratitude. How cute. Ding Ding put her hands together next to her face. I'm sure he can completely melt his cold heart. Lei Shi swallowed the last bite and said, No, I think it's better to have a fight with Hanku. Quote, the whole audience's attention was focused on Lei Shi. Isn't it that Han Ku thinks you're too weak? Just prove your strength to him. Lei Shi explained. Good idea. Then this will become plan B. Ding Ding thought for a moment and said. 2485 words. Chapter 4. Gyro Jewel. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Lei Shi and his companions arrived at Han Ku's dormitory. Mulan rang the doorbell and Han Ku opened the door. Hello, Han Ku classmate. Dudu popped out of Mullen's head. This little hamster is called Dudu. He said he wants to repay your kindness in the confinement room last time. Quote, before Mulan could finish speaking, Han Ku covered his mouth and withdrew. I don't need any reward. He slammed the door shut. Look. This guy is really a cold-blooded animal. He doesn't even like such a cute doodle. Benny defended himself. I'm not interested in cute things either, thought Lei Shi. Does Hanku have no other hobbies besides eating apples and reading top books? Said Mulan dejectedly. By the way, as the saying goes, if you want to grab his heart, grab his stomach first. Ding Ding suddenly realized, if it doesn't work out yet, we can only achieve plan B. No. Why am I here to give it? Lei Shi said, holding the apple pie. Because Han Ku doesn't seem to be so resistant to you, Lei Shi, please help us. Pi underscore Pi, begged the meteor. Ah, uh, okay. Lei Shi helped his forehead and rang the doorbell. Han Ku opened the door and said, Is that you again? Han Ku looked at Lei Shi and said, We haven't finished the competition last time. Quote, Lei Shiki chuckled twice and said, We'll talk about it later. He approached Han Ku with an apple pie and smiled, We know you like to eat apples. We made it ourselves. Quote, Han Ku's expectant eyes reflected his own figure, somewhat stunned, but he still said to the Thunder Lion and the others, I won't be with the weak. Quote, Lei Shi can only make eye contact, implement plan B. Meteor saw the gyro data on Cold Cool's computer and said, Cold Cool, let's have a duel. Meteor challenged Cold Cool. Let's duel. If my holy flame red dragon wins, you won't be allowed to leave the team and you can't report anything about the detention room. What if you lose? Han Ku asked. Leave. I won't disturb you anymore, replied the meteor. Interesting. Let's have a final battle. The two went to the battlefield. No. Can I still give this apple pie or not? Lei Shi tilted his head and looked at the departing figures, hesitated for a moment then placed the apple pie on the cold table with a note left on it. Lei Shi, hurry up. Mulan shouted at him as he saw Lei Shi not catching up. Here we go. Lei Shi followed in their footsteps. This competition is only one round, and the side whose top stops first or is knocked out of the plate will be considered as the loser. Ding Ding introduced the rules of the competition. Super Duel, launch. The competition begins. Meteors are amazing. They occupy the high ground at the beginning, so they can unleash a stronger impact. Quote, the ice-hunting blue dragon has taken over the center, 
warned the Thunder Lion. The Holy Flame Red Dragon ran towards the Ice Blue Dragon and said, Holy Flame Red Dragon, that's great. Let's pursue it like this. The Holy Flame Red Dragon continued to run towards the Ice Blue Dragon, but it dodged. The position suddenly changed, with the Holy Flame Red Dragon at the center and the Ice Hunting Blue Dragon at the high ground. Ah. Han Ku also wants to occupy the high ground, but for the main Tuo attribute, it is a balanced type. Mu Lin didn't understand, for the ice hunting blue dragon, choosing to confront the attacking holy flame red dragon from the beginning is not very dangerous, is it? Quote, holy flame red dragon, speed reversal. Meteor commanded. The two red and blue gyroscopes kept colliding, sparking. The ice hunting blue dragon is consuming the rotational power of the holy flame red dragon, which is very detrimental to the attacking holy flame red dragon. Meteor, come on. Holy flame red dragon, come on. Ding Ding shouted at the meteor. You should give up the competition as soon as possible, said Han Ku calmly. No. I'm looking forward to becoming a teammate and fighting together with you, Meteor replied firmly. I can't lose, Holy Flame Red Dragon. Holy Flame Ring. Super Transformation Combination. Explosive Energy Acceleration. The Holy Flame Red Dragon became even stronger, Flame Dragon Attack. The Holy Flame Red Dragon continued to attack the Ice Hunting Blue Dragon relentlessly pursuing it. Surprisingly, he can proficiently use a one-star superpower ring. I really can't underestimate him. Han Ku thought. A rookie gyroscoper who doesn't even know how to launch a power ring has grown to proficiently master the power of a one-star power ring in a short period of time. You are indeed very good, Han Ku said with rare praise. But that's all for now. Ice Hunting Ring, Super Transformation Combination, Explosive Energy Acceleration. Quote, Counter Attack, Ice Hunting Attack. Two gyroscopes collided, creating a dazzling spark. What a severe chill. Penny sighed. I'm careless. The meteor gritted his teeth. It's so scary. The cold of the ice hunting blue dragon is freezing the holy flame red dragon. Ding Ding's body trembled slightly. What's even more terrifying is that Han Ku can hold back and wait for opportunities. Mulan looked at Han Ku. So powerful, it's right to fight against Han Ku. The fighting spirit has ignited. The meteor not only didn't fear, but also faced the challenge. The flame of the holy flame red dragon melted the chill of the ice hunting blue dragon. Two gyroscopes kept colliding with each other, and the Holy Flame Red Dragon was at a disadvantage. What should we do? Does the Ice Hunting Blue Dragon really have no weaknesses? Closing parenthesis. Meteor. It's already surprising that you can push the Ice Hunting Blue Dragon to this level, but let's call it a day. The spark generated by this friction is not right. The attributes of the Ice Hunting Blue Dragon are balanced, and after stacking superpower rings, the attributes change to attack. The current cold coolness cannot make the two perfectly compatible. Closing parenthesis. I understand. The contact area between the tip and the plane of the balance type gyroscope is smaller than that of the attack type gyroscope. In order to reduce the centrifugal force generated during the attack, it is cold and cool that causes the ice dragon to tilt significantly. Closing parenthesis. And this may be the key to turning defeat into victory for me. Right now, flame dragon impact. I won't lose out on the same move, the ice hunting raid. Quote. When the Holy Flame Red Dragon was about to collide with the Ice Hunting Blue Dragon, he tilted his body to avoid it. What? Han Ku was somewhat surprised. Originally, I didn't. 
T fully grasped the compatibility between the Blue Dragon Lord Tuo and the Ice Hunting Ring because I couldn't T balance the two. And the Meteor actually saw through and seized this loophole in me to make use of it. Cold Cool woke up. Hunting Ice Blue Dragon. Holy Flame Red Dragon. The winner is about to be determined. The Thunder Lion looks at them. In the end, two gyroscopes flew out at the same time. It was a wonderful battle. And the meteor's growth was so surprising. Mulan couldn't help but sigh. Both of them are so strong. I and Armor Huang Long and I also need to work hard. This way we'll end up in a draw. We didn't lose or win, Ding Ding said. Han Ku picked up the ice hunting blue dragon and said, Meteor, I admit you are a qualified opponent, but I will definitely win the next time. Quote, if you don't leave the team, we can have frequent sparring. Meteor replied. Han Ku didn't answer and left. Is this guy staying or not? Just say it. Ding Ding couldn't figure it out. Lei Shi placed his hand on the shoulder of the meteor. He will definitely stay. The meteor is so handsome. Lei Shi joked with a smile. Meteor's face turned slightly red. Thank you, Thunder Lion. Quote. Lei Shi had a bad premonition, and Doodle ran over. Mulan placed it in front of him and said in surprise, Doodle said that Han Ku was being bullied by a group of people on the rooftop. What? Let's go then, said the meteor. Meteor and others rushed towards the rooftop, and Lei Shi saw the figures of Han Ku and others. The distance is enough. Thunder Feather Dragon, launch. Thunder Lion then launched the superpower ring. Thunder Feather Ring, Super Transformation Combination, Explosive Acceleration. After landing, the Thunder Feather Dragon coincidentally caught up with the Superpower Ring, and Meteor, Mulan, and Benny, S. Gyroscopes also rushed one by one, flying the three S. Gyroscopes and protecting the Ice Hunting Blue Dragon in the middle. The meteor was surprised by the strength of the Thunder Lion, as it successfully launched from such a distance. What are you doing? The fat man angrily questioned the meteors and the others. I will never allow you to bully my team members, said Meteor. Both Mulan and Benny defended Han Ku, but only Lei Shi smiled at him and said, Heroes save the beauty, are you moved? Hanku's newly ignited emotions were extinguished by Lei Shi. Go away. Hanku pushed Lei Shi's face aside. How many of them are you talking about the new generation? They are the good seedlings of gyroscopic combat, and they will wither in my Longwu's hands. Longwu raised his hand and was about to launch the superpower ring when a voice rang out. How do you want him to wither in your hands? Of course. Ah. Long Wu looked aside and Huang Fu Sheng appeared from beside him. Huang Fu Sheng. Huang Fu Sheng. Mind your own business. Long Wu looked at Huang Fu Sheng. Ah Tilda its senior Huang Fu. Ding Ding said with a hint of flower obsession. It's him. Meteor remembered that day again. Who doesn't know him? Why do we all know each other? Lei Shi fell into self-doubt. Ignoring the one-on-one -on -one system of top jewels, bullying new students at will, and if you don't want to be expelled from the college, you should disappear immediately, threatened Huang Fu Sheng. Huang Fu Sheng, wait and see. Their little brother pulled Long Wu and ran away. Meteor, long time no see, said Huang Fu Sheng Chao Meteor. Long time no see. The meteor forced a smile. With a new partner, I thought you wouldn't play with the top anymore. I thought I wouldn't play anymore, but I still can't let go of this dream, replied Meteor. I can't let go of my dreams, ha ha. Huang Fu Sheng didn't say much and left. When he left, he met the thunder lion with four eyes, somewhat stunned. Has he, who was once cute, 
grown into a handsome young man. Lei Shi looked at Huang Fusheng expressionlessly, as if he looked a bit like the person he saw when he was a child. I can tell that this guy is very interested in you. However, I advise you that he is very strong, so don't foolishly provoke him. Han Ku reminded Meteor. I know, a long time ago, he was very powerful. Meteor looked at the holy flame red dragon. Later on, everyone returned to their dormitories and Han Kuo saw the apple pie on his desk, as well as the note left by Lei Shi. I hope we can get along well. These guys, said Han Ku with a slightly raised corner of his mouth. 3000 words. Chapter 5. Speech. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Each gyroscope has its own power elements and combat characteristics, speed, attack, defense, and so on. So you need to understand your gyroscope well to improve your strength, explained teacher John. The meteor was chopping and looking at the thunder lion. The thunder lion was already sleeping with one hand supporting its face, and its body was just blocked by the forest. Teacher. Benny raised his hand, may I ask what we need to do to understand our own top? Quote, gyroscopes are born as warriors, possessing a warrior-like soul will, also known as the madness of light, which requires the gyroscopes to excavate on their own. The teacher replied, when your fighting will and the will of the gyroscope merge into one, that powerful force. 9, 8, 7, Six, five. Benny muttered to himself, and the meteor asked in confusion, Benny, what's wrong with you? Do you want to finish class and go eat quickly? Lei Shi also woke up and stared at the meteor. You didn't know that my idol Miller would give us a speech at the athletic tower after class, Penny said while making some awkward gestures. I can't wait to see him anymore. Benny said excitedly before heading straight to the athletic tower. Let's go. I don't want to take this class either, Lei Shi said thoughtlessly. Well, okay, the meteor nodded. I haven't said class is over yet. Only the teacher was left in the classroom. Arriving at the destination, there were crowds of people. This time, no matter what, I have to get Dean Miller's autograph. Penny shook Meteor's shoulder. You really admire Dean Miller? Meteor replied somewhat dazed. Of course, my dream is to become a top player like Dean Miller, Penny said excitedly. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dean Miller to give us a speech. The voice on stage sounded. Ah, I have to listen to a speech, won't it be very long? Lei Shi complained while applauding. I won't do it. It only takes a little while, the meteor coaxed. Benny was the most excited here. Ah, Dean Miller. Hello everyone. Everyone. Quote, I am Miller, the current dean of Jaduo College, and I am very pleased that you have come to study at Jaduo College. Quote, I hope everyone can come here to learn to their heart's content. Unleash their peak of light on the stage of gyroscopic combat, and move forward bravely like a fighter, never giving up. Quote, keep moving forward and never give up. King Zan Tuo, King Zan Tuo, shouted the audience, and the thunder lion furrowed his beautiful eyebrows, feeling speechless. Meteor noticed the sound of the thunder lion, and helped cover his ears. His voice became much quieter and less noisy. The thunder lion smiled and thanked Meteor. However, only by obtaining bronze, silver, and gold badges can one qualify for the opportunity to compete for the throne of King Jaduo. Quote, this process is not easy. Even in our college, only the Feng Yun group is closest to this honor. The figure of the Feng Yun group appeared on stage. The appearance of the Feng Yun group brought a huge welcome. Lei Shi. Thank you. The eardrums are shattered. Thunder lions are very sensitive to sound. 
Meteor looked at Huang Fu Sheng on stage. Is he already so strong? Huang Fu Sheng paid attention to the Thunder Lion in the crowd. The Thunder Lion smiled and waved at him. Huang Fu Sheng saw the meteor helping the Thunder Lion cover its ears, frowned, and no longer looked at the Thunder Lion. What's wrong with this guy? Lei Shi has some doubts. After listening to the speech, on the way back, the meteor was hit and rotated by a group of people, and was stopped by the Thunder Lion. Do you want it to be so exaggerated? Meteor was puzzled. Turning his head, the figures of Han Ku and Benny disappeared. Mulan smiled and explained, Han Ku has returned to the dormitory, where is Benny's words? Quote, when the meteor looked in the direction of the wood forest, Benny was exactly the same as that group of people just now. I've forgotten, he's also a huge fan of Miller. I don't think he'll be able to come back for a while. Why don't we find a place to rest? Suggested Meteor. Let's go, said the Thunder Lion. Thank you for the invitation, but I still have to rush back to the dormitory to feed my buddies, Mulan declined the Meteor. Ah, then I went with the Thunder Lion, said the Meteor. Meteor and Thunder Lion lay on the lawn, and Meteor recalled their childhood duel with Huang Fu Shen. Mom, I actually met Huang Fu Shen at Jaduo Academy, but now I am not his match at all. Meteor murmured with some disappointment, looking at the nearby Thunder Lion. But I have companions fighting side by side. Meteor's heart was no longer so uncomfortable, still feeling at ease by the Thunder Lion's side. Ding ding. What is that sound? The meteor ran towards the source of the sound. After the meteor left, the thunder lion opened its eyes and held its top, merged with the will of the top. Closing parenthesis. Host. Why don't we go find someone else to fight and increase our own strength? Who are you looking for? Lei Shi asked. Of course it's Huang Fu Shen. The system suggested. Forget it. I still think it's better to lie flat. Lei Shi heard this suggestion and continued to lie on the lawn. Oh my. The host can't be lazy. The system said discontentedly. Ding. Task 1. Duel with Huang Fu Saint and reward. Speed plus 1 0. Oh. Explosive power plus 5. Punishment. Electric shock for 1 hour. Time limit. 3 days. No. How could you make a fool of yourself? Lei Shi sat up. I don't even know where he is. Do you want me to confront him? Ding. The system navigation has been activated. Huang Fu Sheng is currently in the building in front of you. Turning left and entering the elevator to the third floor. Turn right to the second practice room. Quote. Lei Shi was speechless. You're great. He he. That's not, for all for all for all. Huang Fu Saint. Closing parenthesis. The Thunder Lion has been basking in the sun for too long, with sweat dripping from its nose, attracting some butterflies. One of them has gorgeous wings with exquisite patterns and colors, ranging from bright red to soft orange, and then to charming blue, presenting an astonishing beauty. It fluttered in confusion in the air, as if finding its direction and landing at the tip of the Thunder Lion's nose. Under the sunlight, the Thunder Lion's eyes reflected the colorful colors of butterflies, like stars in their eyes. Huang Fu Sheng finished the battle and happened to see this scene. He stared at him blankly, as beautiful as a deity. Lei Shi also saw Huang Fu Sheng, sat up, waved at him, and said, Hi. Long time no see. He walked towards Huang Fu Sheng. You're already so strong now. Many people admire you, right? Lei Shi smiled and rubbed his feet uneasily on the ground. What a tacky way to approach someone. Let's have a match. I lost to you before, but I don't know how to do it now. 
Lei Shi opened his eyes and stared at him seriously. If you don't agree, then. Okay. Hmm. Lei Shi was overjoyed. Then tomorrow afternoon, I'll come find you. Well, come to the training room of Feng Yun Group. Huang Fu Sheng nodded slightly. Okay. I will definitely beat you. But I have to go to class. If I go late, teacher John will punish me. Lei Shi smiled and waved goodbye, and the corner of Huang Fu Sheng's mouth curved slightly. It's still the same as when I was a child. Closing parenthesis. Lei Shi ran and thought. Done. Effortlessly Tilda, arrived at the teaching building, ran into the classroom door. Sorry, I'm late. Lei Shi smiled apologetically. Let's stand outside and listen to the class, the teacher said to Lei Shi ungratefully. Li Shi had to stand outside in the corridor and ran past him. Sorry, I'm late. Mitya and Li Shi said the same lines and were driven out by the teacher. What a coincidence, Mitya. You're also late. Lei Shi chuckled with Schadenfreude. Aren't you the same? Mitya grumbled discontentedly. Hmm. Lei Shi turned his head away. Outside the window is the laughter of young people, birds leaning together. What is the future like? Chapter 6. Jewel. You are listening at novelfull.audio. This article mainly focuses on emotions, but in terms of combat, it is rather sloppy. Host. Get up. The system kept shouting in Lei Shi's mind. Lei Shi gave a dissatisfied click and said, Got it. Lei Shi got up and held Lei Yulong in his hand. Meteor and they are all making progress, Lei Yulong. How can I become stronger? The host should leave now, the system reminded him. Lei Shi woke up from his thoughts and, perhaps only found the answer in the duel. Set off to find Huang Fu Sheng. Da da. Lei Shi stopped at the competition room of Feng Yun Group, hesitated for a moment, and knocked on the door. Is anyone there? said the Thunder Lion. The mechanical door opened, and inside was a member of the Feng Yun team that Lei Shi had seen before during his speech. Lei Shi saw Huang Fu Sheng in front of him, raised his smiling face, and waved to him, Ah Sheng, I'm here to play with you. Quote, Upon seeing the arrival of the Thunder Lion, Huang Fu Sheng felt a little happy and his expression softened. Lei Shi walked forward and took out Lei Yulong. It was already agreed before, do you need to rest? Although he knew that Huang Fu Sheng would easily defeat Long Wu, he still cared about it. No need. Let's get started, replied Huang Fu Sheng. At this point, Lei Shi stared intently at Huang Fu Sheng. Huang Fu Sheng's ears were covered in red mist due to his intense gaze, and the nearby Feng Yun group also noticed his abnormality. Huang Fu Sheng, this doesn't look like you. Dong Xuan thought. Super Power Duel, launch. Thunder Feather Dragon, attack. Thunder Feather Dragon quickly collided with the Aurora Heavenly Horse after landing. When two gyroscopes collided, Lei Yulong tightly bit the Aurora Heavenly Horse and did not let go. Aurora Ring, super variable combination, explosive acceleration. Quote, During the battle, the Thunder Lion furrowed its brow, its speed must not be as fast as the Aurora Pegasus. Is it still the same as last time's dragon martial arts? Shangguan Liang spread out his hand. Since you can't hide, then don't hide. Lei Shi took out the super transformation ring. Thunder feather ring, super transformation combination, explosive energy acceleration. Quote, forcing the installation of a super transformation ring in this way would consume the warrior's turning power. Thunder Lion. Huang Fu Sheng frowned and looked at Thunder Lion. The Thunder Lion remained expressionless and focused on the Thunder Feathered Dragon on the battlefield. 
the thunder-feathered dragon's aura doubled, and lightning flickered around it. Although the speed was a bit slow, the numbness of the lightning was not blowing. The Aurora Heavenly Horse slowed down a bit because it collided with the Thunder Feather Dragon, thought the Thunder Lion to himself. Thunder Feather Dragon, 5 Star Skyman Kill. Thunder Feather Dragon charged from the highest point and collided with the Aurora Heavenly Horse, producing a dazzling spark when two gyroscopes collided. In the end, the tops of both sides were knocked out of the battle table and the Thunder Lion caught the Thunder Feather Dragon with one hand. The Thunder Feather Dragon had a crack, and the Thunder Lion's spirit was a bit dazed, almost unable to stand still. Is everything okay? Huang Fu Sheng helped the Thunder Lion, and it was only then that the Thunder Lion improved slightly. It's okay? Lei Shi waved his hand. Lei Yulong seems to have some problems. I need to go back and repair it first. Hm. Huang Fu Sheng nodded. Goodbye. Lei Shikiang raised his smiling face and waved to Huang Fu Sheng before turning and leaving. What's wrong with Lei Shi? Huang Fu Sheng felt something was wrong with Lei Shi and frowned. On the way back, Lei Shi looked at Lei Yulong with concern. I always have a bad feeling. Lei Shi returned to the dormitory and lay in bed. The sound of the system in my mind came. Congratulations to the host for successfully confronting Huang Fu Saint in a round. Rewards. Speed plus 10. Oh, explosive power plus 5. Thunder Lion. The door to the Thunder Lion dormitory was not closed, and Meteor walked in. He saw the Thunder Lion in front of him with empty eyes and there was a noticeable crack in the Thunder Feather Dragon on the table next to him. Meteor immediately brainstormed and looked at the Thunder Lion with heartache. Meteor touched the soft hair of the Thunder Lion and looked at him with concern. How are you, Thunder Lion? Quote, Lei Shi regained his senses and tilted his head in confusion, asking, what's wrong? I'm just thinking. Quote, Meteor awkwardly touched his head and reached out his hand to the Thunder Lion. Let's go invite our mechanic, Ding Ding Dang. Lei Shi nodded, grabbed the hand of Meteor, and sat up. Outside the door, Han Ku watched the intimate movements of the two and didn't turn his head. Arriving at the arena, the duel between Benny and Co Ji continued. After waiting for a while, the duel ended and Benny won. Ding Ding also became Meteor's mechanic. Chapter 7. Cold. You are listening at novelfull.audio. On the second day after finishing the registration, Lei Shi and a few others were heading to the announced list for the competition. Meteor kept sneezing. Are you okay? You've been sneezing since leaving the dormitory door today. Isn't it a cold? Mulan asked with concern. I'm fine. Meteor waved his hand. Entering the arena, a few people sat in the audience seats and the host flew out. Players who love gyroscopes, the three-year junior assessment of King Jaduo has officially begun. The audience screamed excitedly. Yo Tilda let me introduce myself first. I am Jason, the referee for this junior assessment. I will accompany you throughout the entire battle of King Jaduo Tilda. Oh, that's great. A girl shouted. Firstly, the competition rules still adhere to a three-game two-win system, with three contestants selected from each group. In the end, the group that wins the two matches will advance to the intermediate assessment of Zan Tuo Wang. Quote, at the same time, the winning group will also receive the C-level honor of Bronze Emblem from Jaduo Academy. Time is precious. Now let's invite representatives from each group to draw lots. Quote, hey, who can tell me what new tricks are going on in this draw? Penny said. Lei Shi and his team noticed the meteor who came up to draw lots. 
Why is it that Meteor in our team is responsible for drawing lots again? Han Ku was puzzled. Yes. His luck is not average. Ding Ding agreed. Lei Shi casually chewed the gum in his mouth and stared at the meteor on the stage. The meteor on the stage said, Why am I drawing lots again? What should I do? How can I draw good lots? Quote, the rule of drawing lots is that each group's representatives press the button on the drawing equipment, and a red or black card will appear on the screen. The group that has drawn a red card can choose its own contestant to appear. The groups that draw black cards will be randomly assigned by the system. It's best to draw a red card. Meteor. Ding Ding prayed. It's not the best. It's certain. Otherwise, before we start, we'll lose the tactical initiative, replied Mulan. Let's start drawing lots. Good luck to you all. Quote. After the host finished speaking, Meteor took a deep breath and pressed the button. The group that drew the black card is the Meteor group. Next, we will reveal the most exciting draw results. Please see the big screen above. The first round of the Jaduo King Jr. tournament will be between the Meteor group and the Dragon Marshal group. Quote, as a substitute, the Thunder Lion would have been angry if someone else had been angry, but the Thunder Lion disdains playing against the weak. After leaving the competition, I met Long Wu and a few others. Oh, I see some people I don't want to see, Long Wu and his companions provoked. I don't mind seeing you. Benny retorted. I haven't settled my accounts with you last time, so I'll defeat you in this beginner's game said the fat man fiercely. Then come on. I'll help little Dudu seek revenge. Mulan was not afraid. All right. Don't talk to them for too long. We still have serious things to do. Long Wu stopped the chubby man who wanted to take action. When they were about to leave, the fat man clasped his eyes with both hands and faced the meteor group. A toad pretends to be a frog. Looks ugly and still plays with flowers, Thunder Lion retorted half jokingly and half seriously. Who are you talking about? The fat man shouted to the Thunder Lion. The meteor instinctively protected the Thunder Lion behind him, and the Thunder Lion poked out its head. You're the one talking about, you don't have the strength, pretend to be you. Quote. Han Ku covered Lei Shi's mouth and said, Don't use foul language. The hot breath from his nose hit his hands, itching. HMPH. Lei Shi broke free from his constraints and turned his head. You. The chubby man looked at his distant companion and had to give up. After they left, you're so handsome, Thunder Lion. Meteor smiled at Thunder Lion. Let's hurry up and prepare for the competition, Ding Ding said. In the lounge, Meteor was still sneezing. You must have caught a bad cold. You need to go to the medical room and take some medicine quickly, Penny urged while holding on to Meteor. But you're going to play now. As the captain, how can I be absent? I also have to make a contribution, Meteor replied in disagreement. Meteor, you won't be absent, because you will always be in my heart. Penny pushed the meteor out of the door. The seriously ill player is not qualified to play, which is good news for our team. You have already made a contribution, Han Ku said to Meteor. You'd better hurry to the medical room to take your medicine, advised Mulan. Okay, then, Meteor said and sneezed again. Let me accompany you. You don't look very good. Lei Shi walked up to Meteor. Anyway, I have nothing to do as a substitute. He took Meteor's hand and walked towards the medical room. The competition is about to begin. Please take your seats in the waiting area, and both sides contestants are ready to go on stage. The voice of the broadcast sounded. Benny and the others walked towards the Haosai district. Lei. 
Lay Lion, please walk slowly, said the meteor in a daze. Lay Lion sighed and slowed down his pace. In the medical room, Lei Shi found a cold medicine and poured a glass of water for the meteor. He handed it to the meteor and said, Here. Thank you, Thunder Lion. The meteor drank the water in one gulp, but his face still turned slightly red. Let's go and see how Bonnie's game is going. Lei Shi naturally took Meteor's hand and walked towards the field. During the process of going to the arena, Lei Shi thought for a moment and turned around. He held the meteor's face in both hands, looked at his slightly flushed face, and looked into his eyes, saying, Are you okay now? It's much better, replied the meteor. Um. Lei Shi turned around and didn't see clearly the road ahead and collided with someone. Subconsciously, he released the meteor's hand and wanted to do a one-handed flip, but before landing, he was grabbed by his waist and spun in the air. One hand held Lei Shi's hand, while the other rested on Lei Shi's waist. The entire process was bewildered by Lei Shi. After realizing it, he pushed away the person in front of him, and the meteor approached to protect Lei Shi behind him, explaining to him, I'm sorry, he didn't mean to. It's okay, are you okay? Dong Xuan asked Lei Shi. I'm fine, replied the thunder lion. That's good, excuse me. Dong Xuan turned around and left. You're really a good person. Meteor murmured as he looked at Dong Xuan's back. By the way, let's hurry up and watch Benny's game. Maybe we have already won. Meteor grabbed Lei Shi's hand and ran towards the field. Upon arriving at the scene, surprisingly, all the defenses of the iron-armored yellow dragon were destroyed. How could Sunla suddenly become so strong? Meteor exclaimed in surprise. In the first round, Sun Lesheng, announced the host. Both sides have three minutes rest time. Hurry up and repair your gyroscopes, and prepare for the next round of showdown. Good Sun Le, shouted towards Sun Le. It's all because the opponent is too weak. I haven't played enough yet, Sun Le sneered. How could it be like this? Iron Armored Yellow Dragon. Penny was about to pick up the Iron Armored Yellow Dragon when Sunla's top collided with it. What are you doing? This round has already ended. Benny angrily pointed at Sunla. Oh, really? I don't seem to have noticed it yet. Sunla spread out his hand. Attacking opponents who have already lost is not worthy of being a top player. Mulan defended himself. The Iron Armored Yellow Dragon has just undergone heavy damage and can no longer withstand attacks, Ding Ding said anxiously and angrily. Meteor stepped down and picked up the Iron Armor Huang Long, saying to Sun Le, Sun Le, your actions are against the rules. Believe it or not, I will report you immediately. Quote, ha ha ha, I didn't mean to, it's just that the Iron Bull Turtle is too powerful. The opponent stopped and it's still spinning. Ha ha ha. Sunla picked up the top and turned to leave. Meteor placed Iron Armored Yellow Dragon in Benny's hand and said, Iron Armored Yellow Dragon, I'm sorry, I didn't protect you well. Benny blamed himself. That electric current. Thunder Lion. I hope it's not like that. Han Ku recalled the round of Benny's duel. I've seen it. I'm going to notify a Sheng. Dong Xuan left the audience. Chapter 8. Competition. You are listening at novelfull.audio. The author won't give up on the topic, it's just that there are too many assignments. I will work hard to update this topic for the 8th grade school. Thank you for your support. Then the author needs to write about the entire season, and of course, it is also a fan of countless people. Keep going. The second round was about to begin, and Meteor stood up and cheered for Benny. Benny, you must win. 
Beat that despicable guy away. What exactly is that current? Han Ku looked at Lei Shi with complex emotions. Lei Shi felt Han Ku's gaze and tilted his head, expressing his doubts. Han Ku sighed. Forget it. Let's ask again later. What will happen in the second round, superpower duel? Iron Armored Huang Long, let's show our opponents the results of our regular training. Closing parenthesis. 3, 2, 1. Launch. The Iron Armored Yellow Dragon took the lead in occupying the central location and gained an advantage in the duel against both defensive gyroscopes. Quote. Bonnie, you did a great job. Meteor shouted. Huh. You're pretty lucky. Ding Ding let out a breath. This is not luck. Han Ku retorted. During the launch, Benny unleashed his muscular strength, greatly enhancing the speed of the iron armored yellow dragon, and thus reaching the center of the battlefield earlier than his opponent, S. Top. Quote. This guy put in a lot of effort for this day. Han Ku couldn't help but exclaim. Benny is really, really great. Meteor said happily. Iron Horned Turtle attack. Sunla commanded. The Iron Bull Turtle took the initiative from the beginning, constantly attacking the Iron Armored Yellow Dragon. Can the Iron Armored Yellow Dragon still hold its position? Unfortunately, it was bounced open. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. Sunla said in a daze. It's too chaotic. Defensive gyroscopes are not good at attacking, let alone attacking the iron armored yellow dragon, which is known for its strong defense. Mulan was puzzled. Great. We won in this way and defeated him in one breath. Meteor was a little happy. Right now, iron armor ring. Super transformation combination. Explosive energy acceleration. Penny seized the opportunity and took the lead in launching the super energy ring. The Benny contestant was the first to launch the superpower ring, and their attack and defense abilities instantly increased by several levels. How should Sunla contestant take the call? Quote, Sunla just yawned and commanded to Iron Bull Turtle, Iron Bull Turtle, accelerate. It's not over yet. Iron Armor Barrier. Benny refused to be outdone. Iron Armored Yellow Dragon, seize the victory and pursue. Great. We're going to win. Meteor began to be happy. The warm-up is over. It's time to take action, said Sunla, stretching his body. Iron Bull Ring. Super Transformation Combination. Explosive Energy Acceleration. The Iron Bull Turtle generates an electric current when stacking the superpower ring. That's current. No, it didn't have it before. The Thunder Lion frowned. Sure enough, it has appeared again. Han Ku frowned. Sunla's contestant has finally used the superpower ring. Can he turn the situation around? Iron Bull Turtle, a perfect farewell. Sunla shouted. It's electric current, the more intense the friction, the stronger the current will be. The extremely strong current will hinder the rotation of the opponent's gyroscope, but where does this current come from? Ding Ding asked in confusion. Han Ku suddenly remembered the duel between the Thunder Lion and himself on the cruise ship. It was so similar. His top was also the same at that time. But it wasn't exactly the same, it was something he already had. Lei Shi felt Han Ku's gaze and looked at him in confusion. As they met, Han Ku turned his head and his ears turned slightly red. Seeing that Han Ku had not spoken, Lei Shi turned his head to continue attacking and watching the game. Meteor noticed the situation here and also noticed Cold Cool's slightly red ears. His gaze towards the Thunder Lion was somewhat complicated. Iron Armored Yellow Dragon, don't give up. Benny continued to encourage Iron Armored Yellow Dragon without giving up. Sun Lesheng in the second round. 
Thank you to the two contestants' exciting showdown. Longwu Group won the first game first, and now both sides have 10 minutes of preparation time. Let's look forward to the next showdown. Iron Armored Yellow Dragon. Quote. I still have many useless moves. Why did you lose? Sunla waved his hand and left the battlefield. Returning to the lounge, Benny faced the wall, while Mulan and Meteor pushed Han Ku towards Benny. It was then changed to Mulan and Han Ku pushing Meteor towards Benny, while Lei Lion was watching the play with a smile on his face. Suddenly, the three of them looked at each other and smiled, grabbing the nearby lion watching the play and pushing it towards Benny. The lion's eyes were filled with shock, and his hand could only be placed on Benny's shoulder. Ha ha. Benny. Are you? Okay. Lei Shi looked at him with concern, and while Benny hadn't turned around yet, Lei Shi glared at them fiercely. Meteor felt guilty and touched his nose. I want to. Benny murmured softly, his voice too low, and Meteor and the others could only slowly get closer and hear what he was saying. Becoming stronger, Benny suddenly turned around, roared, and did a few push-ups on the ground. It seems that our worries are unnecessary. Mulan scratched his head and said, seeing that Benny didn't look too sad. The competition is about to begin. Please go to the field and prepare for the second round of competition. The voice of the broadcast sounded. The Yufeng Qinglong as super variable system has been adjusted and is in perfect condition. Ding Ding handed the top in her hand to Mu Lin. Thank you. Ding Ding. Mulan took the top. Is this my job? Ding Ding waved her hand, but if you lose, give it a try. Ah. Yes. Meteor walked forward and held Mullen's hand. Mulan, you must win, otherwise our group will be eliminated. After all, I haven't even played yet. The Longwu group, being able to become so strong in a short period of time, must have been strange. During the battle between Sunla and Benny, that strange electric current. Han Ku recalled the electric current generated during the war. Don't worry, no matter what side the opponent uses, I will do my best to win this game, replied Mulan. Next, let's invite the second round's player, Kielan from the Meteor Division, to compete with Kevin from the Ryugi Division. First round, prepare. Quote, 3, 2, 1, Superpower Duel. Launch. Yu Feng Qinglong managed to avoid many collisions during the competition, but still couldn't withstand being knocked down. In the first round, Kevin wins. In the second round, Mulan unleashed a powerful force, and the Thunder Lion looked at the electric current, lost in thought. Why? How could it be? Kevin looked incredulously as his top and Mullen's top were both knocked out of the battlefield. In the second round, Tai, both sides should quickly repair your gyroscopes. Quote, while tinkling to repair Mullen's top, Lei Shi thought for a moment and asked, apply some glue to the top. Everyone looked at Lei Shi. Glue. What's the use of glue? Asked Benny puzzled. Once the glue solidifies, it can form an insulation layer, and that eerie current won't affect it explained Lei Shi. I see, Lei Shi, you're quite smart. Meteor suddenly realized. Ding Ding applied glue to Yu Feng Qinglong and said, without the influence of electric current, the battle will be much easier now. Ding Ding handed Yu Feng Qinglong to Mulan. Um. Mulan looked steadfastly at the wind controlling Qinglong. During the competition, Han Ku thought for a moment and realized that the top of the Thunder Lion is also of the Thunder series. If this were the case, what would he do? Han Ku leaned back against the wall and asked the nearby Thunder Lion, what would you do if you applied glue during a duel with you? Quote, Lei Shi thought for a moment and replied, 
Glue can affect the current, but Lei Yulong doesn't rely on current, but on strength. Moreover, I have no use for playing cards. Quote. Lei Shi looked at Han Ku's curious expression and smiled. Keep it a secret. In the third round, Mulan wins. This game is tied, and both sides have 10 minutes rest time. Players for the next showdown please prepare. Quote. Chapter 9. The Mysterious Dragon. You are listening at novelfull.audio. I feel like there are so few people who like Mulan. Doesn't anyone like his braids? Opening parenthesis. Omega ideographic period. Name. The next cool battle was also an easy victory. In the current three matches, the players from the Meteor and Longwu groups each have one win, one loss, and one draw. According to the competition rules, the reserve players will play the fourth match. Finally it's my turn to play. I can teach those despicable people a lesson. Meteor looked at Long Wu and the others angrily. And there is a person standing at the entrance of the competition. Long Wu is not a simple person. He has the power chip in his superpower ring. Suddenly, the person covered his head in pain. My head hurts. I have to go. Before he could finish speaking, he turned around and left. Lei Shi looked at his departing figure, dressed somewhat like a forest of trees. The fourth game is about to begin, and only those who have won this game can lead their team to the next game. Quote, so who will be the winner today? Let's invite two players to come on stage. Meteor and his team arrived at the battlefield, and Long Wu spoke up first. You're called Meteor, right? I advise you to just give up. Our strength is not at the same level, and if we fight against you, winning will only make people say that we won. You have to be able to defeat me, then. Meteor didn't flinch at all. After saying this, his eyelids drooped a bit and he rubbed his face before waking up. It seems that you are very confident. The more confident you are in this way, the more despair you feel when you lose. Long Wu remained proud and arrogant. The exciting and thrilling competition is about to begin. Players from both sides are ready. Superpower duel. 3, 2, 1. Launch. Quote. Both sides are attack-type gyroscopes, and the more attacking the person, the more opportunities they can seize. Who on earth can they seize this opportunity? Holy Flame Red Dragon, go. Quote, Red Flame Turtle, go up. The Holy Flame Red Dragon and the Red Flame Turtle launched attacks simultaneously, and both sides engaged in fierce collisions with equal attack power. Quote, it's really exciting. The host couldn't help but sigh. I have more strength than I imagined, but that's all for now, Long Wu provocatively said with one hand on his hips. Red flame ring, super transformation combination, explosive energy acceleration. Quote, the dragon warrior has stacked a superpower ring, and the speed and strength of the red flame turtle have instantly increased by several levels breaking the stalemate. The Holy Flame Red Dragon is in crisis. How should the Meteor player deal with it now? Why didn't the Meteor react? Benny asked in confusion. His appearance looks a bit strange. Ding Ding looked at the Meteor with concern. Meteor's eyes drooped, clearly not very energetic, and his legs trembled. Can't it be the cold medicine that's working? Right. Lei Shi frowned and shouted at the Meteor, Meteor, cheer up. By the way, system, what's wrong with my previous sleepiness? Thunder Lion suddenly remembered and asked the system. Host, you do not belong to this world, the world is rejecting you. Quote, the Thunder Lion frowned and said, is it true that you can fulfill all your wishes? M. It's fake. The system's words were like a basin of cold water pouring on the head of the Thunder Lion, 
his whole body cold and trembling uncontrollably. Han Ku noticed that the thunder lion next to him was feeling a bit emotional, and his frightened expression couldn't help but make people feel heartbroken. How can I go back then? Lei Shi calmed down and asked the system. Perhaps we can become gods. Without the control of the main god, we can become gods ourselves. The system gradually lured the thunder lion into contemplation. What should we do then? The host can get closer to the sons of Chi here. Which are the people around the host? Quote. Are they meteors? Yes. Of course. The host also needs to be careful of other intruders. Why is it so troublesome? Lei Shi sighed. Of course, the host, now our main focus is on getting in touch with the protagonist more, so that we won't be eliminated by the world and fall into a dormant state. Quote. Han Ku watched as the thunder lion transformed into a normal appearance, his suspended heart calmed down, and he continued to watch the game. The meteor suddenly woke up from the thunder lion's call. What's wrong with me? I can't even open my eyes. The meteor rubbed his eyes. Meteor, hold on. Benny shouted at the meteor. HMPH, why do you think you're trembling? Are you scared? That's right. Go. Red flame turtle, end the game for me. Long Wu sneered at Meteor. I won't give up. Meteor regained his composure. Holy flame ring. Super transformation combination. Explosive energy acceleration. I've caught up. The worry in Ding Ding's eyes turned into joy. Meteor, well done. Penny praised. Holy flame red dragon. Impact. Did Meteor not perform well due to a cold? Ding Ding looked at the strength of the holy flame red dragon colliding together, which was completely different from before, and couldn't help but wonder. What's going on? My launch earlier should have been perfect, right? Meteor was surprised and puzzled in his heart. Eating electricity. Ding Ding has already applied insulating glue to the holy flame red dragon. Eating electricity should not affect it. Benny looked at the situation of the game with confusion. The insulating glue may not have worked, as Long Wu's battery life was several times larger than expected. Han Ku shook his head. What should I do with the meteor now? Ding Ding looked at the meteor with concern. Gyro combat is a fair and just battle, and I absolutely do not agree with external forces. Meteor said to Long Wu, Holy flame red dragon. Meteor rubbed his eyes again. You don't agree? People without skills still talk like that, red flame turtle. Let him feel what strength represents. Long Wu sneered. Red flame turtle. Crush him. Quote. In this round, Long Wu Sheng. In the next round, I will finish the game faster, Long Wu said to the figure of Meteor leaving. I agree with what you said, but the winner is me, Meteor replied. Arriving at the lounge, Meteor, can your body still hold up? Ding Ding looked worried at the Meteor. No problem, I just feel a bit sleepy, Meteor waved his hand. Don't worry, I'm fine. Don't you want to bring justice to Benny? Don't want to defeat the Dragon Marshal group. But your body. Quote. It's okay, this small problem can definitely be overcome, said Meteor as he splashed the water on the table at him. What are you doing, Meteor? Penny exclaimed in surprise. This way, I won't feel sleepy, Meteor looked up. In the next game, I will definitely come and win. Super Power Duel. 3, 2, 1, Launch. Holy Flame Red Dragon. Attack quickly. Quote. Red flame turtle. Give him some color to see. Both players launched fierce attacks as soon as they entered the field. Lei Shi closed his eyes and took a nap. In his dream, Lei Shi was in darkness, 
with only the gold and purple gemstones ahead emitting a faint light. The thunder lion approached and picked up the gem. Suddenly, there was a vibration under his feet. System. System. The thunder lion called out to the system in his heart, but received no response. And a purple dragon emerged, with a unique and ingenious appearance. Its body was like a huge python, winding and winding, covered in hard scales, shimmering with mysterious light. The thunder lion opened its eyes wide, because the body of this dragon surrounded the thunder lion in the middle, and the thunder lion also saw that the dragon's eyes were purple and gold. Purple dragon rubbed its head against the hand of thunder lion, and thunder lion raised its hand to touch its head. Don't hide my sharpness anymore. A ethereal voice sounded, as if there were still some grievances. What? Before Lei Shi could ask clearly, he had already woken up. In this game, Meteor wins. Quote. In the first round of the beginner's round, the ultimate winner is the Meteor group. Impossible. How could I lose to such an inexperienced beginner? Long Wu knelt down incredulously. It was the belief of Meteor maintenance that defeated you. Han Ku explained to Long Wu. Long Wu, a group of people in overalls, took them away. The people in the referee team are too slow to come until the game is over. Ding Ding could not resist roast. Good deeds are rewarded with good deeds, and evil deeds with evil deeds. It's not that we don't seek retribution, it's time yet, said Benny. Chapter 10. Cool Competition. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The Lishi setting is three years younger than the Meteor. Private setting. Ding. Ding. The alarm clock made the Thunder Lion wake up. The Thunder Lion rubbed its face, got up to brush its teeth, and looked at its own hair in the mirror, soft as clouds, light and natural. Wear your gloves and today we're going to train with Meteor and their team. Dong dong. The sound of the doorbell rang. In, said the Thunder Lion in a daze. Lei Shi, have you packed up? Meteor ran over and saw Lei Shi hanging his head. His hair felt soft, like the gentle rain caressing the branches in early spring, making people want to touch it. The meteor touched his head, and his furry texture felt like he was masturbating a cat. Why do you love sleeping more than me? Meteor said with a smile. I'm just a little drowsy, said Lei Shi, patting the meteor's hand. It's not annoying if the meteor is shot away, because the force used by the thunder lion is very small, like a kitten scratching. All right, let's hurry up and train. Meteor grabbed Lei Shi's hand and met Han Ku and the others. Seeing the meteor running over with the thunder lion, Ding Ding said, Okay, everyone is here. Let's go. Quote. During the journey, Meteor said, We have won the Longwu group, but we are about to face the next game and we must intensify our preparations. Quote. Meteor ran towards Han Ku and said, Han Ku, we're going to the training camp. Can you walk faster? He pushed Han Ku forward as he spoke. I don't think anyone is as actively prepared as we are, said the meteor after being hit by someone. Why? Where are so many people coming from? Let's face it. Ding Ding patted Meteor's shoulder. Entering the practice field, a group of people gathered around a battle table. It's so lively. What happened? Penny looked over there. Pulling the meteor towards them, the thunder lion and the others followed suit. Isn't that Xiaoji? Is he from the tank team? Benny looked at the boy with blue hair beside him. The name you gave me sounds too nice. Lei Shi couldn't help but chuckle. Is this also called good? Meteor looked at the thunder lion and asked in confusion. You're joking. Lei Shi waved his hand. Green hummingbird, fatal strike. 
The green top in the battle table knocked another top away. What you lose has no value. Green hummingbird. Destroy its superpower ring. Quote. My falcon. No. At the critical moment, the meteor caught the green hummingbird, which prevented the damage to the superpower ring. Due to excessive force, the meteor almost fell, and the thunder lion supported him from behind, allowing the meteor to stand firm. How could you treat the top like this? Let alone he's still your teammate. Meteor looked angrily at Dong Hao. HMPH. The tenth rule of the hunter's code is that there is no need for the pitiful weak. Shaq was not grateful for the meteor's help and took back the top from the meteor's hand. HMPH. That meteor should have stopped trying to save you long ago. It should have been shattered. Lei Shi saw that the other party was not grateful at all, and his words became less friendly. You. Am I right? Lei Shi looked at him fearlessly. It's you, Meteor. Dong Hao saw the meteor and said to him. Ha ha. Yes. No. Who are you? I don't know you. Meteor asked after realizing it. You better pray that you won't encounter me in tomorrow's game. Otherwise your top will be even worse than it was four years ago, said Dong Hao, turning around and leaving. What four years ago? Four minutes ago. I hadn't seen him before. Meteor scratched his head and looked at his departing figure in confusion. This man is really cruel. Tinker roast. Are you okay, Meteor? Mulan patted Meteor's shoulder. Who the hell is he? Meteor thought. At the scene where the order of the competition was announced, the host's voice sounded from above. The draw results for the second round of the Jaduo King Jr. competition are now officially announced. Meteor combination versus tank combination. Surprisingly, it's them. They hate people who treat gyroscopes rudely the most. I really don't understand how Xiaoji is so good. How could they be in the same group as them? Ding Ding said while repairing the gyroscopes and listening to the results. Great. We can start playing again soon. Meteor stood up excitedly. I can't wait anymore. Benny agreed. Little Doodoo, I finally have a chance to meet that Sark for a while. Mulan touched Doodoo's head. Ah. Why am I a backup player again? I really want to play in the game, Meteor said as he looked at the game sequence on the screen. All right. There's no problem hunting the ice blue dragon. Ding Ding handed the top in her hand to Han Ku. Is the music boy across from you your opponent? At first glance, he's a very quiet person. Lei Shi looked in the direction of Ding Ding, who was listening to music with headphones on. Han Ku was lucky enough to have a soft persimmon. Ha ha ha. Benny said. But Han Ku did not answer Benny's words. The second round of the Jaduo King Jr. competition has officially begun. Quote. In the first showdown, the cold and cool players from the Meteor group will compete against the Zhang Bai players from the Tank group. Now, please bring the contestants on stage. Quote. Zhang Bai bowed when he saw Han Ku on the stage. Oh, you're quite a gentleman. Not as cold and icy as our family, Lei Shi joked when he saw this scene. Of course, Han Ku heard Lei Shi's words and looked towards him, while Lei Shi smiled at him. Han Ku sighed and turned back to continue preparing for the competition. Zhang Bai said, Hello, Han Ku, I've heard of you a long time ago. By the way, have you ever heard a symphony? What? Quote, it seems that you don't have much knowledge about this. It's a pity, Zhang Bai shook his head regretfully when he heard Han Kui's answer. I don't know. Cold cool versus Zhang Bai, two charging war gods, prepare. Super power duel, launch. After launching the gyroscope, Zhang Bai said to Han Ku, your prelude is good, 
It's worth me composing a good song. Quote. This Jiang Bai has been talking about music. It's strange, said Benny. Hunting the ice blue dragon, sniping in a straight line, commanded Han Ku. Suddenly, Zhang Bai's left and right hands swayed, and the spinning speed of the gyroscope fluctuated, causing the trajectory to change instantly. Wait. What's that sound? Cold Cool thought to himself. Very good. Cold Cool. You must have heard it, Zhang Bai said to Cold Cool. The attack and defense of, Hell Refining Tiger, are so unpredictable, can cold and cool players find loopholes? Wow. This Zhang Bai is not easy. His mother is a well-known violinist, his father is a pianist, and Zhang Bai is still a school orchestra conductor in a key school. Ding Ding flipped through Zhang Bai's profile and said. He's really not pretending to be playing music, Penny said. It is said that his Hell Refining Tiger can play the extremely powerful Hell Symphony, but as soon as his opponent hears this music, it indicates. Before Ding Ding finished speaking, Mulan asked. What does it mean? It means we're about to lose to Zhang Bai, Ding Ding said. So strong, it seems Cold Cool needs to be careful, Meteor heard Ding Ding's answer. We'll win. Lei Shi said as he looked at Han Ku on stage. Meteor looked at the resolute gaze of Lei Shi and replied, Yes, Han Ku will definitely win. Quote, Unfortunately, the performance is coming to an end soon, Zhang Bai said to Han Ku. You will ultimately step down from the stage, said Han Ku as he fired his superpower ring. Ice hunting ring. Super transformation combination, explosive energy acceleration. Hell's ring. Super transformation combination, explosive acceleration. Zhang Bai also launched the superpower ring. Is the highlight about to begin when two people simultaneously launch the superpower ring? Quote. Unexpectedly, like the iron armored yellow dragon, it formed a strong defense shield, said Meteor. Is it really so sturdy? Han Ku asked in response, hunting ice blue dragon, go and test his reality. Quote, the defense strength after stacking the hell ring is far from my estimated value, which is an opportunity for fast attack. Han Ku thought to himself and did the same. Hunting ice blue dragon, accelerate attack. Quote, oh no. The Hell Ring has the ability to hide defense, create illusions, and when the target is hooked, its defense can instantly increase to 90% for counterattack. Ding Ding looked at Zhang Bai's information and said, Did you follow the wrong beat? It's my turn, Zhang Bai said and commanded a counterattack. Hell Refining Tiger, let's start playing your climax part. Why does Zhang Bai look like he's changed? Ding Ding looked at Zhang Bai on stage and said. Play the roaring music, refining tigers in hell. After finishing the hell refining tiger, the ice blue dragon was knocked out of the battle plate, and it fell to the ground making a sound. The first movement, finished playing. After speaking, Zhang Bai bowed. In the first round, Zhang Bai won. Zhang Bai lifted his head and smiled at Han Ku. This guy can actually turn the arena into his own concert. Ding Ding couldn't help but be surprised. Using music to control gyroscopes for combat is not a problem. Surprisingly, there are no flaws in both attack and defense, said Benny. Or try cracking it with music, suggested Mulan. This is good. Everyone agreed and looked at Han Ku sitting and resting. What's good about music? I refuse, answered coldly and coldly. What should we do then? This is the only way we can think of it. Ding Ding spread out her hand and said. Second round. Start. Quote. Three. Two. One. I don't know if Cold Cool has come up with a way to crack it. 
said Meteor. Superpower Duel. Launch. The rhythm is different from the last time. It's great. I like changes, said Zhang Bai. Hell Ring. Super Transformation Combination. Explosive Energy Acceleration. Oh. Zhang Bai actually added a superpower ring from the beginning. He's such a player who doesn't play cards according to common sense. Han Ku just looked at the superpower ring in his hand and didn't make any movements. Why hasn't Han Ku launched an ice hunting ring yet? Asked Benny puzzled. He must want to observe his opponent's motives again before making a decision, said Mulan. Cold cool. I offer you a desperate movement. The symphony of hell. The iron triangle. Zhang Bai said to cold cool. There it is. The legendary symphony of hell. Once played, goes unstoppable. Ding Ding said as she watched the game. Strange. From a distance, there hasn't been much change in refining tigers in hell, has it? Said the meteor. The terrifying hell of tiger refining has plunged the ice blue dragon into a desperate situation. Can cold players create miracles? Quote. The loophole has been locked. And from this moment on, your rhythm will be under my control. Sniper in a straight line. Han Ku's closed eyes suddenly opened. Ice hunting ring. Super transformation combination. Explosive energy acceleration. Attack the loophole. Hunt ice and make a surprise attack. Has the defense trajectory changed? How dare you try to weaken my defense? I don't like this episode. Hell's Iron Triangle. Zhang Bai said in surprise. Don't stop. Continue attacking. Cold Cool commanded. Han Ku, further disrupting Zhang Bai's defensive rhythm. Meteor looked at Han Ku with surprise. It's not easy to disrupt my rhythm. Zhang Bai said. You're really stubborn, but that's all for your performance, Cross Sniper. Quote. The situation on the field is clearly dominated by coldness and the Thunder Lion is communicating with the system. System. Are you sure you're not a strategy system? How? How could that be? Quote. Why do I have to have physical contact? Of course, it is to take away the protagonist's luck and become the highly anticipated King of War 2 Quote. We are so evil, like villains. Don't worry so much, host. Didn't he say he wanted to become a god? That goal is too high. Let's set a small goal first. Quote. Oh. At this moment, the Thunder Lion still doesn't know when this small goal will be achieved. Meteor looked at the Thunder Lion in a daze. Thunder Lion has been in a daze lately. Closing parenthesis. Now. Every time Hell Refining Tiger completes one side of the triangle trajectory, there is a noticeable change in length compared to the previous side. Ding Ding stared at the information in her hand and suddenly realized, I understand that although the iron triangle is solid, every step of the triangle trajectory requires strong turning force to maintain. Quote, the ice hunting blue dragon had no intention of directly challenging the defense of the hell refining tiger but instead continuously increasing its thrust in turn. Quote, the iron triangle formation loses its power balance and automatically disintegrates. Isn't it that the strongest and most stable defense structure has disappeared? Asked Mulan. Yeah. Han Ku did it. He did it. I promise to do it. And it's not over yet. Hunting ice blue dragon, said Han Ku. The ice hunting blue dragon successfully knocked the hell refining tiger out of the center of the battle plate, breaking through the strongest defense of the hell refining tiger. Quote, Zhang Bai has already been led by Han Ku's nose, and he can no longer manipulate the hell refining tiger like a conductor, said Mulan. This is a good opportunity. Meteor stood up. Hunting ice blue dragon, end the game. Not good. 
Zhang Bai watched as the ice-hunting blue dragon charged straight to hell to refine the tiger, feeling uneasy. The hell-refining tiger was knocked out of the battle plate by the ice blue dragon. That's amazing. That's the coolness, said the meteor. I don't understand any music at all. But in the arena, your rhythm is destroyed by me, Han Ku said to Zhang Bai. HMPH, when will it be your turn to intervene in my movement, said Zhang Bai. In the second round, cold cool wins. Lei Shi opened his eyes and his eyelashes trembled slightly. I took it and felt drowsy again. Closing parenthesis. Lei Shi's legs trembled slightly, his eyes were a bit blurry, and he saw a red figure in his sight. Which should be a shooting star. Sorry about that. The meteor felt the heaviness on his shoulder and the itching of his furry hair sweeping over his neck. Looking back, the thunder lion leaned silently against the meteor's shoulder. I'm too tired. Let me sleep for a while. Lei Shi whispered and leaned against the meteor's shoulder to fall asleep. Meteor opened his mouth, wanting to say something, but afraid of waking up the young man beside him, he turned his head to continue watching the game. With a smile on his lips that he had not even noticed, 